not have such a division between people because of who they vote for. And I guess there was going to be a list that was going to be printed that was going to uh, talk about all the people in Hollywood that are supporting Donald Trump. Donald Trump donors. Donald Trump donors, I'm sorry. And so, um, you know, so I, they were like saying, you know, print the list and make it, let, let us know who you are and blah, blah, blah. And we was like, no, like this is one of the fundamentals of our country. Like we can vote for we want to vote for. It's we right. don't have to agree to it. You know, we could have a problem with the person you're voting for. But it's your right to do what you want to do. And vote how you want to vote. Exactly. And the thing is, she mentioned blacklist, and that goes back historically with us. Exactly. Being blacklisted. Yeah. The term ba- blacklisted. Right. Literally. Uh, but this is Whoopi's response uh, to that. Your idea of who you don't want to work with is your personal business. Do not encourage people to print out lists because the next list that comes out, your name will be on, and then people will be coming after you. In this country... People can vote for who they want to. That is one of the great rights of this country. You don't have to like it, but you, we, don't, we don't go after people because we don't like who they voted for. We don't go after them that way. We can talk about issues and stuff, but we don't print out lists. Yeah, there you have it. I agree. Print out the list. Because at this point, we all, you know, basically know who rocks with Donald Trump, you know. And that's your personal opinion. That's your view. You can vote for whoever you want to. Because like she said, now when another list comes out because of a candidate that you vote for Mm -hmm. and people start harassing you, Mm -hmm. you know, people start making fun of you, you know, derogatory names, and that can really affect the person. So why are we going to even go there? I think unfortunately because of it's trickling down from the top at our government, just having a difference of opinion nowadays, people want to combat each other yeah. as opposed to just having a conversation like we can agree to disagree. Exactly. I don't have to come at you because mm-hmm. we don't have the same perspective on different topics, be it who I voted for or other issues that are out there. And, and, and you know, I think that's one of the things that's leading to this violence mm-hmm. uh, uh, surge, so to speak. And I can understand why people are upset because of the, some of the rhetoric that he has put out there. I can, you know, I can understand that, but also it's people out there who are actually good people who just, you know, have this thing, this business sense that Donald Trump has, you know, whatever. But, you know, so again, that's their personal opinion. But why should I hate them for that? Exactly. I think it also goes a little further, even like for just political situations that we vote for. I was uh, watching, changing the topic, but still kind of on topic, the Dave Chappelle show. Mm-hmm. I finally got to see it. Yeah. You know, oh, know what everybody was like talking about all that kind of stuff. And when he was making his points, he was just basically like, listen, like, I have the right to laugh about something if I think it's funny. Why are you mad at me because I'm thinking it's funny? And so it's like if you if you do just like Dave Chappelle talk about certain groups, talk about certain people, it's like oh my gosh, you offended the da 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 da, and it's just it's like stupid now. Like we're so overly, superly Too sensitive, and yeah. it's dumb. Yeah. We're, we're walking on pins and needles. So we, are. we want your response. Give us a call, 203-562-9430. Chime in on the conversation and let us know what you think. So 8-11 on the Juan Castillo Morning Show.